I'm in a crawl space over in Gettysburg and I get asked all the time if a crawl space left unfinished can affect your indoor air quality. The answer is yes. In fact, in this crawl space that our client has just loose plastic, then gravel, then soil paired with insulation. Well, the issue is that that allows soil gases and mold uh, to come up through the ground and permeate into the space above. The space above this just so happens to be a living room and the crawl space's humidity is 67%. Well, mold can grow at 50% relative humidity, so we definitely have an issue. In fact, I have a pollen sense real-time particulate sensor here, and it's actually been reading for the past few days, and even without us messing around in here, we're getting Penicillium aspergillus and Cladosporium counts somewhere in the tune of 1,800 parts per million, which is a really, really high number for ambient air samples. So it's definitely a good idea to take care of your crawl space. In fact, in this crawl space, we had the client already seal the ductwork off because they had a return vent in here. And we're gonna go ahead and seal up the ground with 20 mil crawl space liner, as well as put in an April Air dehumidifier to make sure that we regulate the space better. So just to recap, the insulation's gonna come out. We're going to pull the old liner, reline and insulate the eaves of this crawl space and we're going to hepa vac and wipe with an antimicrobial as well as do this all under containment to make sure that this crawl space is back to normal fungal ecology then we're going to put in an industrial strength dehumidifier to make sure that it stays that way